guys welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a brand new video listen today we need to be organized kings and queens because today is one of those days that i've been putting off and off and off and now is the time that i need to do it and of course i'm going to vlog because i'm hopefully going to motivate some of you guys if you've been putting it off too and also it holds me accountable i say this every time anything like cleaning organizing anything like that if i tell myself i'm going to vlog it then i have to do it so you guys are also motivating me so thanks for that um but today i'm going to do the dreaded wardrobe clear out and i say this every single time if you've watched these videos before you will have heard me say i'm gonna be brutal i'm gonna chuck away so many things and i never ever ever am but it's getting to the point now with my wardrobe where you know when there's too much in your wardrobe and it's like all squished together and then every time you get something out it's just creased because it's just so squished together that's what it's like and it's getting to the point as well where like the bits where i fold up i don't know what i've got because i can't see everything so i really do need to be brutal even if i like the item if i know that i haven't worn it in a long time i just need to get rid of it so we've got the black bin bags at the ready i'm going to be doing a bag for family a bag for charity and a bag for the clothes bank bag it could be bags who knows but i just need to be brutal like i say i always do this thing where i'm like oh but i really like that so i might wear it no if you haven't wore it in i'm gonna say a year because i'm gonna say that if i've not worn it last summer then i'm gonna get rid of it if that makes sense so i just need to be brutal i just need to be because it's just getting to the point where the clothes i've got aren't getting worn and i feel like they're getting wrecked because they're just squished on hangers and it's just not the life i can't see it and every time i go in my wardrobe it stresses me out because it's just so cluttered another thing that i desperately desperately need to do today is sort out this what's even this called makeup cabinet what's it called dressing table that's the word i'm looking for i need to sort out my dressing table because honestly like i'll show you when i do it but I've got makeup in there. I'm going to hold my hands up. I've got makeup in there, like foundations that I haven't used in a year. Like, they're probably out of date. There's so much makeup in this drawer that I just don't use. So, again, I'm going to have a big declutter of this. A lot of this probably will be for bin because a lot of it will probably be like, you know, where there's like a tiny bit left in the bottle and it's out of date. However, if I find things that I just haven't worn and I know I'm not going to wear, use not wear then i will of course give it to family but this drawer again i just can't even see what i've got it's just hard to close it actually i don't even know if i told you it collapsed about six months ago tommy had to like put wood on and everything to sturdy it because i've just got that much crap in this drawer so i also need to do that so they're my two main things on the agenda today i just want to have an organized day but wardrobe and dressing table are the two main ones that i've just been putting off and putting off and putting off and then tomorrow i'm going to do a full speed clean of the house and i'm going to film that so the next video after this i think will be a speed clean i'm just i'm being a productive queen i'm having two days of productiveness I've just made myself a nice smoothie. I've got back onto the smoothies recently. Again, if you've watched me for a while, oh, that smells so good. If you've watched me for a while, then you'll know that I used to be obsessed with smoothies. And then I'm one of those people where I have something for so long and then I get bored of it and then I move on to something else. Um, and I just, I've been really fancying smoothies. So I've had them every day this week. I trapped myself to a better blender. Um, I got a neutral bullet and it's changed the game. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I don't know if I've ever had a green smoothie before. I usually, my smoothies are usually like red because I put strawberries, banana and stuff like that in. But today I've put a bit different in. For anybody that cares, what I usually put in my smoothies is frozen fruit just because I find it's then really nice and cold. Um, I'll put, sometimes I'll put like some kale or something in because obviously that's really, really good for you. And you honestly cannot, I promise you you cannot taste the kale in your smoothie you know like sometimes people put celery and stuff in i mean i'm not gonna lie i've never tried that but i can imagine you really taste that in the smoothie if you want to just add some extra goodness to it but you don't really want to taste it put kale in it because you can't taste it at all so yeah i'll put frozen fruit so usually it's like strawberries like berries and banana um some kale i'll put some kind of yogurt whether it's a protein yogurt or whether it's one of those Actimil, and um, the vitamin ones i'll put one of them in and then if i've not used a protein yogurt then i'll put some protein powder in and then just some water so yeah some sort of protein yogurt fruit kale water so it's actually really healthy for you as well and it's just really refreshing i really like them and they're quite filling as long as you put the protein in if you don't put the protein in it's not filling um 
and sometimes I'll do like a mango one. I do change it up, but I've never done this. So this one is actually a, like a smoothie bag that I got from Tesco's. And in it, it's got kiwi, um, a bit of mango, but I topped mine up with a bit more mango, and kale. So I've got kale, kiwi, mango, a yoghurt, protein powder, and water. And I've not tried it yet, so I'll let you know. It doesn't look very good, does it? But mm. Wow, that is so nice. I actually think I prefer that to my strawberry one. You can really taste the kiwi. That is so good. Mm. Anyways, let's just stop procrastinating. Let's get on because I know what I'm doing. I'm sorry you're talking about my smoothies. I don't have to actually go do the task I need to do. So let's get sorted. Let's go tackle the wardrobe. Are you actually ready? I mean, you could look, the wardrobe door doesn't even shut properly. <sighs> this is going to be embarrassing, I can tell. Oh my God. I'm sorry, look, I've got like little tubs, organised tubs. I've definitely not taken the price off that. And it's just all dumped. It's just an absolute state. These drawers are broke. It's just an absolute mess. And then in this one here, I've got shoes. I've got winter stuff in there. I've got just, just crap. So I'm going to tackle this one first. Let's be brutal. Let's get rid of the stuff we don't wear. And I don't even want it to be like really really full i want it to just be you know like that as an example like that's just actually embarrassing but this is what i mean by i can't even see what's back there i want it to just be easy for me to see so wish me luck first i've not done the drawers yet this is the wardrobe literally so much better these are all the clothes right so i've just been messaging my two best friends to see if they want anything first i only showed them what i thought they might want and what's going to fit but all of this is literally to go to charity shop and 
family but I don't really think there's much in there to be fair all of this is for one of my best friends <laughs> and this is for my other best friend like seriously I think that's the most brutal I've ever been doing a clear out do you know what I mean I'm really proud of myself and my wardrobe that is what I'm talking about but what I will say is I've got a basket of washing downstairs which I've not put away so because it's so cluttered and it's stressing me out I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put them all in bin bags so I'll put my two friends into theirs charity shop clothes bank etc etc have I been saying food bank throughout this video if I have I mean clothes bank um, I'm going to put all those into bin bags and I'll put away and the tidy and then they're not just literally chucked all over the room and then I'll go bring the washing basket up and we can put that away but who knows there might be some more stuff and then we'll finally move on to the bloody makeup that has literally taken me nearly two hours but I feel so much better already Girl I see your face everywhere When I'm going out you'll be there Everything reminds me of you, I can't take no more Girl, I think I'm losing my mind Try to go to work, but I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you, I can't take no more I miss your touch from your hands and your body It hurts so much to think of you as someone else Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me Right, everything's bagged up Ready to rock and roll I'm ready to move on to phase two which is putting this away Now, the only issue here, what I've just been thinking Because I was thinking, oh, well Sorry, I just went up the stairs, I'm sort of breath. Um, I was thinking, oh, well, some of this might be to go, but I've just thought, because it's a washing pile that I haven't put away for a long time, I'm going to be honest, a couple of weeks, um, it's clearly stuff I wear, so it's not going to be chucked away, is it? Not chucked away, given. So I'm now going to have to try and... I don't want to ruin this. Like, it looks really good. I don't want to ruin it, but I'm going to have to do something. Enough when you're sweet talking to me. Talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'm gonna do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Your love, your love, your love. I'm so dumb. The wardrobe has taken it out of me, but I know that I will feel so much better once I've done this. I managed to get everything in my wardrobe. It doesn't look as good as before then. It's really annoying me because it's like starting to squeeze back together. But look, it's a vast improvement to what it was. The amount of bin bags I currently have in my hallway is unbelievable. I think I've got about 10 bin bags at this point. Um, so it's an improvement. Do you know what I mean? I just need to make sure I'm brutal like that more regularly. Anyways oh i really don't want to do this but we're gonna we're just gonna get on with it we're not even gonna think about it this drawer honestly is one of those drawers you know where you go into it and then it gets jammed because there's just so much in there and like i said to you earlier on it's things that i don't even use anymore like things that are probably out of date let me show you the drawer so this is what it looks like so we've got all my makeup brushes all like my foundations and concealers and stuff bronzers powders blushes mascaras eye stuff eyebrows lip glosses and then this is just where it gets absolutely ridiculous like that's not neat that's not even an organized mess 
that's just horrendous so we need to need to need to again be brutal at the end of the day i use the same makeup products anyways do you know what i mean like i know what makeup products i use i feel like a lot of it is you know when you try you try things to see what they're like and then you don't end up liking them so then you don't use them i feel like a lot of it's that to be honest um actually whilst i'm on the topic of like beauty stuff i have to show you this so I was in Superdrug the other week and I needed a new moisturiser and I saw this and I looked at it at first and thought that's the hair mask because it literally looks the same as the hair mask. And then I realised that they've brought like a body butter out in the same kind of style and honestly it, it smells unbelievable. This is a scent that I've got but there's also one other, I think there was only two scents. But B, honestly, this is hands down the best moisturiser I have ever used. It's the first moisturiser in a long, long time, actually, where I've used it and my body actually feels really nice and moistured. Um, so, yeah, I would really, really, really recommend that. And it's really fast absorbing and it just feels thick and, like, your body just feels incredible once you've used it. So, yeah, it's the Garnier Body Superfood honestly would really really recommend and it's so cheap it's £4.50 for that massive tub which I think is really good also I've been seeing all over TikTok people talking about the Bondi Sands gradual tan now you guys know that I really like the um Nivea one but I thought I'd give this a go I used it the other night and I won't lie it didn't really do anything but then I read further into it and the videos were saying you have to like do it every night to get like a bit of a darker colour and then obviously when you're at the colour you want you can just kind of do it every few nights so I'll let you know what I think to that but if you need a new moisturiser I'd really recommend anyways I'm procrastinating again let's just get on with it Like when we first met, oh, I don't care, it's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't wanna spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now. I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me love. You know you're mine, baby. So come give me love. Mission complete. I know that doesn't look tidy, but it is. So we've got makeup brushes, beauty blenders, all of the foundations that I like, concealers, stuff like that. They've then got bronzers, blushes and powders, eye stuff, so eyebrows, mascara. Um, these are like setting sprays and highlighters. Then we've got lip balms. Then we've got like just clips and then little rays of things you can get. Lipsticks and glosses. Then we've just got a couple of like nose strips and stuff. Fake tan for when I need to tan my neck. And then this is just like a miscellaneous, but it's just a few skincare products. And then my Lumi Spa and my Boost. That, honestly, it may not look that tidy, but I promise you, that is a vast, vast improvement. Another thing, ticked. And relax. I'm hoping you can hear me because it is a little bit windy. Um, but I've just come out for a walk on my own. I don't know if I mentioned, but Tom's actually working currently good friday and um, we're going out for a meal later on which will be lovely but i just thought i'm gonna get out get some fresh air on my skin and get my steps in because i've actually made a pack with myself that i need to start getting my 10,000 steps in a day i don't really know where this stemmed from i think it's because i'll be honest just recently i've been feeling how do i put it um just a little bit just not myself, I guess. Like, I just feel really sluggish, really... How do I feel? <laughs> just not great in myself is probably the best way to put it. I don't know if anyone else can relate, but working from home, don't get me wrong, I'm so grateful and lucky that I get to work from home. Like, I absolutely love working from home more than anything. But I don't know if anyone else can relate who works from home. 
it gets to the end of the day and you're like, I've not moved. I've literally just sat at my desk all day. And it's obviously not good. Like, forget your weight and stuff. Obviously, it's not good for your weight. But it's not good for your body. It can't be good for your muscles. It can't be good for your bones. It's just not good for you. So, anyways, I've made a pack of myself. Every single day, I've got to get my 10k steps in. Whether that's a walk, which I've seen with my house partner, which I prefer because I prefer to just get out in the fresh air. I've got a podcast on. If not, I've got my treadmill Tom got me for Christmas so I can just put something on the telly and get my 10k steps in that way. But yeah, I've just made a pack with myself that I will, 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 will do my 10k steps every single day. And do you know what? There literally is nothing better at all. Like, it's forcing yourself to just get out, isn't it? I think like, especially when you've had a long day at work and you're like, oh, I just wanna get in a bath. But I think honestly, if you just force yourself just to get out, I try and get out every night as long as it's not raining. If not, like I say, I'll go on my treadmill at home. But you just feel a million times better for doing it. There's just something about being out with nature, like the breeze on your face, listening to a podcast, there's just something about it. So this is your sign if you've been putting it off. Even if you can't get the 10k, like just try and get out, get some fresh air. And I think now it's spring, it's gonna be that bit easier as well. But it's like today, I've obviously done all of that this morning. And I'm like, oh, once I finished, I had to go to b and for Tommy because he needed something. But he was working, so I had to go get him that. I went to Costa, got him a coffee, got him a little cake, just to get him through the last bit of the afternoon. And then I was like, oh, I really can't be bothered because we're going out for tea at six. It was like four o'clock, I was like, I really can't be bothered. And I thought, no, do it, you're gonna feel so much better and your body will thank you. So that's what I'm currently doing. I've got a podcast on. But anyways, I'm gonna continue on my walk and I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. So I really hope you've enjoyed spending a very productive, decluttering, organisation day with me. If you have, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye.